everyone, it's Danny here and I've got another Seesaw tutorial video for you today. We're going to be working on how to set up folders. So there's a few reasons that you might want to set up folders in your Seesaw account. Obviously the first one is to be a bit more organized. You can set things up so that they're categorized by subject so that when students upload work, they can um, put it in specific folders so that it's easier for you to find, especially when it comes to assessment time. But if your school's anything like mine, you might also have specialist teachers uh, who also have access to your classroom Seesaw account. So they might want to store things in folders for themselves so that they don't have to go through all of your other work to be able to find what they need to do. So there's two ways that you can set up folders for your classroom journals. So we're going to go into the spanner in the top right corner. And you want to navigate down until you find the manage folders button, which is right here. Uh, before we press that though, I quickly want to add this step here. It says show add to folder step. And this is really handy if you've got students or even yourself that quite often uh, would maybe forget to add um, a piece of work to a folder. So you can actually turn that on so that there's a prompt when students or yourself or other teachers uh, need to go and add something to a folder. So once you've turned that on, you go into your manage folders and you simply press create a folder. So we're going to call this test. You can choose your color, obviously, if, if you want. We're just going to leave this one red and you press the tick. That's it. You've got a folder. Pretty simple. So we're going to close that and that's the first way that you can set up a folder. The second way, which I find much easier, especially after you've already set up that um, the prompt to add to a folder um, is over here on the right hand side. You can just press the folder button next to class journal. It shows you all your folders, including the private teacher one. Um, and from here, you can just press manage folders and create a new folder, just like I showed you before. So it's really, really basic. Um, it does help you stay organized and does help your students stay uh, fairly organized as well. Just some tips for you as well for when you are setting up folders, especially when you're working with younger children, is to include emojis um, in your titles. So you might have, let's just say, um, a writing emoji, um, just to help those students be able to find it a little bit better. Um, there's obviously you can categorize them with all different types of emojis, but I find that that really helps as well. You might also have students that have added work to a folder and for whatever reason, you, you're not really wanting that to stay visible to anybody, including parents. There might be things like inappropriate language. It could be unfinished work. It could be something that maybe a student's posted at home and you maybe need to talk to a parent about it before you um, allow it to be published. Um, so for whatever reason that you want to do that, you can actually assign things to um, your private teachers only um, folder, which is right here. If you're a student, it's pretty easy for you to uh, add work to those folders. It's simply you just press that you wanted to add the work. Uh, you can do your drawing photo, choose how you're going to post your work. Um, and once you've done that, you can, you should get the prompt to put it into a folder. So as you can see here, I've got a choice to put it in either my test folder or my writing folder. Just press the tick and then it's uploaded and you can see up the top there that it's waiting for teacher approval. If I've put it in the wrong folder or I want to change the folder, uh, you can press the folder icon at the bottom there. It's a little blue one just underneath my picture here. You can tap on that and you can choose a different folder or you can choose multiple folders. So I hope that video has been useful for you. Remember to like and share and subscribe to this channel so that I can continue to uh, put out more content for you and uh, to get that out and to help teachers out there. Thank you.